Welcome to Piot the Press Channel. <laughs> it's really early, it's yeah. uh, about 4 a.m. and uh, this is going to be an uh, adventure video. Uh, and also this is video about stuff that I like to do. This is like the best thing in the world, having adventure. And uh, this is going to be adventure with three phases. First Sweden and in Sweden Ore, mountain bike park. Second is Norway. We have no idea what we are going to do there. And then we are going to uh, visit, yeah, we are going to visit Finnish Lapland and there we are going to visit Anni's new home. Yeah, and we are going to do like, this is going to be a long video. Every day is going to be filming and every day is going to have a theme. And this day's theme is the road trip. Road trip to Sweden. Yeah. First we have couple hours of uh, driving, couple hours of boating, and then more driving. We are here. The morning drive was uh, otherwise cool, but everything was closed. Like no gas stations or anything, to buy any food or anything. But uh, now we are here and I think this is the new ship that I have been waiting. On the old ship there was always picture of the like new faster ship. And it was like always two years away but now it's here. I don't remember what's the old ship like but... Looks pretty nice. This is like roomy to drive in and like... like I think the old ship was a bit scary to drive in, it's like really steep and narrow, but this is nice. Yeah, yeah I, I think this is a ferry. I think ship sounds more fancy. Yeah. This is like ferry over like slightly salty lake, or yeah. then this is like ocean liner. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think this is an ocean liner yeah. and this like a uh, really large, fast, Ocean, not salty lake. Uh. <laughs> I think we are about halfway. Yeah, and the, uh, from Tampere to Ore, you have two options: just a car or car, ship, car, and both take same time, which is really long. But with uh, ship on the between, you don't have to be just on the car all the time. Yeah. And I think with like normal car, the price is pretty similar. With electric car it would be cheaper just to drive, but it's a like, long, long, long drive. It's a long drive and a lot of sitting and it's nice to have a little like break, like from the car anyway. Yeah. And a better is nice ship better. Yeah. Ta -da! Looks exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks and feels. First charging stop. Yeah, we found it at last. Yeah, the navigator did like it would like to come like down there. It asks for 25 minutes, but I think we are going to spend like one hour. We are going to eat to the uh, city. Okay, we are half hour away from Ore, and I just heard that Norway doesn't belong in the European Union. But uh, I assume that you can still go without any paperwork. At least I have been there without any paperwork. But I didn't know that. <laughs> so only Finland is perfect because Norway doesn't belong to EU, Sweden doesn't belong into NATO. Finland only has both of them. Yeah, that's true. Hey, hey, hey! Day two. We have been only like two hours awake. And what we are doing, Hanna? We are doing food for us like several days, maybe. Yeah, because uh, when we were in the 
uh, skiing on the winter we ate just restaurant food yeah that was horrible so we are making some uh, pasta sauce some pasta sauce we visited the supermarket yesterday and this is one of the reasons why we are not in the hotel and also the price and cheap ass yeah yeah but now we don't have to eat just the restaurant food we can make our own it's really beautiful outdoors and and it smells also very good because there is lots of flowers yeah and i'm like i'm too hyped up to go to the ride the bicycle hanna already got like a bit yeah bit like overwhelmed <laughs> from my energy but not not long long anymore yeah. going up we had no idea how these work but uh they explain it in swedish <laughs> It was English and helped us. First, first in the Swedish. Ah, okay, I didn't yeah. hear that. Our bikes are there. You put them like that, and then you take the next elevator yourself. Okay, first day is over. Things that happened, I lost my ski pass, company's credit card, and destroyed the bike. <laughs> but. Hanna has like really good nerves. Mm -hmm. Hanna this kind of things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw what's the problem with the bike. Okay, this is your problem. That shouldn't be like that. Uh, it's not super bad, but it's like it's it's you can see it here nicely. It's too much out, it doesn't hold any more air. So I have to put like uh, inner tube in. Luckily there was local uh, bike shop. So I have, I have these. Yeah, I asked, do, do they have rim for 2019 Kenevo? It's specialized dealership. They look really confused, but even asked for a rim, they clearly didn't have it. Then this also leaks slightly from here for some reason, but I don't care. I'm, I'm going to just try it. Just send it. Mä oon oo sillon nyt kiviä. Se on sulannu aika paljon lisää. Se on sulannu aika paljon lisää. Moi! Hey, check out. Hanna is rich. rich as... What's the Uncle George? Yeah. George. Yeah, I have so much money. Two thousand money. Two thousand money. It's very weird feeling. Yeah, I haven't seen like five hundred in a long time. Yeah, and at, at least like something else than euros. It's very weird. How, which day is this? Like... Wednesday? Thir Wednesday, third. It's like fourth. Fourth? fourth yeah, day. yeah, like for first day was just traveling. Yeah, I had this uh, traditional Finnish morning yoga routine here. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like fixing something, 
and then uh, calling the old Finnish spirits to hear <laughs> to help me. Check I I'm like I gave the like oh no the what is the like sacrifice sacrifice, sacrifice to the gods. Mm-hmm. My bike is now blessed with good spirits. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. The uh, damage report is the fact that the uh, rim is still like piece of shit. Mm. It's even bleeding. Uh, where is the... Yeah, there is the clump. Oh oh Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I think I tightened that slightly. I think it's holding. <laughs> not many, Not many days left. Yeah, and this was broken, but... Yay! No, it's working. And then new brake pads for the rear. Mm. I'm going to change the rim when we get home. This is not good. Mm. Maybe you're going to change the whole bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got yesterday. I I had like brainstorming session with ChatGTP4, and my idea is to sell the BMW track bike. That's like twenty two thousand euros. Then buy old Ducati Hypermotor, that's like 10,000 euros. And then I can spend like 7,000 on new bike and I have still 5,000 left. Mm. So that's the plan. That's the and plan. And then I can get like probably like 2,000 from yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Hanna. Yeah. Uh, your journey towards like expert mountain biker. Yeah. You're now pretty good on riding, mm -hmm. but uh, can you fix the bikes? No, I can't. Can you try to figure out what's wrong with my bike? <laughs> there is more issue. You can try try it. Try it. Okay. Maybe you found out like Maybe. is 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 there something wrong with it? Mm -hmm. I think the, I think the, something funny is going on. Yeah, there is like minor problem. Is it just safe to test it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very heavy. <laughs> what? What? Where are you? Where is your... Oh my god. Where is your chain? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was just riding, then I tried to pedal and nothing, <laughs> and I tried to go and look them, but I think they just fly somewhere in the bush. Oh no! Yeah. Uh, but they were pretty worn out, so we have to just buy a new chain for the bike. Yeah, this has been a quite rough uh, trip for your bike. <laughs> Uh, I decided that we are not tired enough, so we went to the gym. Hanna was wiser, she just did some stretching and yeah. yoga stuff. I did like stupid stuff. Yeah, and then we visited the uh, grocery store and I bought these. Me and Anni, we always bought trip gift. Trip gifts always from uh, Ika. It's like Swedish grocery store chain, and they have their own like like store branded cheap stuff. We always gave these to everybody, like bag full of cheap Ika stuff. And I decide that it's time to return the favor to Anni and bring her bag full of cheap ass grocery stuff from Ika. <laughs> that was a good look. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, raining again. Yeah. And we've been cleaning whole morning and packing. Yeah, it's nine. Yep. Took like one and a half hours. Mm. Not terrible, not great. Mm -mm. Yeah, but we decided to leave day early because it's raining. Yeah, 
we go check if Norway has better weather. Yeah, and at least like it's better to drive with a car than with the bike on the rain. Yeah. And the car is somehow even more full than when we left home. Future is this is this one of the things where like uh, Kai does the task so poorly yeah, that he it, don't need to do it again? Yeah, it's better do it yourself. Yeah, but here we go. Uh, and here comes the damage report. Only uh, crash was Hanna on the snow, didn't die. But to continue our typical uh, history of accidents, do something really dangerous, not get hurt, then kitchen knife to the finger. And uh, this patch up job is uh, uh, this is recommended by ChatGPT for. It says that you should go doctor to doctor, but as and by quick fix you can just tape it. Yeah, it looks completely yeah. different. Mm. I think it's just going. Oh, and check those. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, I think we are now in Norway. Yeah, have you been in Norway? I have been in Norway uh, before. This is really nice road. The scenery is really beautiful. And the road is smooth. And car drives itself, so it's like just nice to enjoy the views. Mm. Oh, that's uh -huh. Oh, that was nice. Mm. I decided that we need to uh, listen. Norwegian radio to get into the right mood and there is probably the ocean and now we are going to go into the mountain it's uh, 3.9 kilometers long it's quite long is it longer than uh, longer than ours yeah yeah in we go hey Oh, back to the road. Yeah. What, what's your tunnel points? Do we need to... Oh, this was the thing. Yeah, my tunnel points. Uh, it was very uh, dark. Yeah. I, I give uh, 3 out of 5. I would uh, give 4 out of 5. It was a bit boring, otherwise okay. Okay, first tourism spot here. It's this old church. The building started 1070, so it's like three times older than any building in the States. <laughs> Anna always says that I have something on my mouth. Now it's <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot. No. We decided to head north from Trondheim. And Norwegian people, they really love their roundabouts. There isn't any else type of intersection <laughs> for hundreds of kilometers than just roundabouts. Good morning. Just got a fresh box of Pepsi. And we are charging our car. We are ready for the... Uh, it was some kind of tourist road next to the ocean between the mountains. That's today's coal. We were hoping to get a bit closer yesterday, but there was a rock slide and the road was closed. So we went to this fine hotel next to the sea. And now we are almost full, like almost 100% with the car. It is quite hard to plan the road for today because there's a lot of chargers in the Norway if you are going from somewhere to somewhere. But if you are just pointlessly like driving on the small roads, there isn't any chargers there. So we need the full range of the car to make be sure that we can make it. There's like slow chargers, but they're really slow. So we don't want to use them. But now the car is completely full and we are ready to go.
Hello! There is the ship and the ship trip ain't super long yeah but the uh, road to here was really nice it was really beautiful and I think it's the we talk this is it like the most beautiful road that I have ever driven the uh, highway one in California is pretty nice but I think because this is a bit similar than I have got used to into Finland like trees and stuff like that but much more beautiful then it's like familiar and beautiful that makes it like extra nice but I would say that they are probably quite even and it was also really nice road to drive mm. it's quite smooth and twisty looks weird it's a bit like the Baltic Ocean like when you look the shoreline looks like Finland but then the water is clear like yeah. we drive to the city uh, yeah. and let's stop if there's uh, anything super fancy we decided that we are going to go check the mountain with the hole We are um, bottom of the sea during the tide. Ocean. Ocean, yeah. I'm not sure what's the difference. Yeah, but this is much nicer than the Baltic Sea. There isn't tide there, so this is like new for us. And the water is so clear. The water is so clear compared to like lakes or Baltic Sea. Super nice. Next, we are going to uh, climb to the uh, mountain with the hole. Some of the reviews said that the place is great but the climb is challenging and now there's stairs. <laughs> I think this kind of ruins the place. If it's like it's it's not like nature place anymore, it's a like attraction built for the crazy humans. Mm. Should we climb again to see the sunset? Yeah. Or maybe at the top. Yeah, it's still some way to go. Yeah, then the hole. Okay, <laughs> here it is. I think it's not going to look anything on the camera. It's pretty nice here. And I see people on the other side. There is like signs don't go, but there is people and that says that we go. Yeah, they, these two rocks here, they're like invitation. Hello! Yeah, it's, it's like impossible to capture on the video, but this is really nice. And we met fellow construction workers here at the construction site. They said that this side is just fine to go. Yeah. It's like, did they say like, welcome to the safety zone? Yeah. <laughs> Some loose rocks and shit. Yeah, this looks much better. I like this more like and if I like do something I don't ever assume that it's like somebody else's fault if I do something stupid and hurt myself. Yeah. I think it's not adventure if there isn't any any risk. Yeah, it's just a trip. Mm. Yeah, and as a comparison, this is the other side. 
I would say that like 99% of the people that can climb, it's, it was like 100 meters of vertical. If you can climb that, you can also climb this. Uh, snail. Give me the snail look. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> driving across Sweden. We got out from the Norway and now we are in Sweden and it's raining and it's really 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 long way. There is trees and more trees. You just finished your uh, five hours. Yeah, have I, I, I have uh, an app below. Our uh, like strategy for long drives is that we both sleep, we have driving Driving turns. driving turns and sleeping turns and that's how you use the time in the best way. Sleeping in the car is the closest to teleportation. <laughs> you have got them. <laughs> yeah, and it's really windy day. There is a plus side and negative side on that. The negative side is the fact that the car didn't realize how windy it is today. It should know the better forecast when it makes its like prediction of the electric use. But that was off, so we had to have extra stop on some slow charger, not Tesla charger. Then we went to Tesla charger and it was completely full. And I'm not sure it was just like really, really old one or was something broken, but also that was like terribly slow. It was like 40 kilowatts. Then we had to like, this was much longer, like maybe 15 minutes longer route that had like new Tesla charger, the uh, 250 kilowatt version that we used to charge the car like enough for this day. So that was the negative side, but the positive side is that the electric price today in Scandinavia is negative. They pay you if you use electricity, but uh, tomorrow we are going to uh, go to the Finland and visit the Arctic. So let's continue again. Oh, we survived shopping mayhem. We visited Ikea by a frying pan for Anni and then we bought a shitload of candy for the press. I think it's pretty nice to have like souvenirs for the press also. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Now we have in a, like Lapland measurements short drive yeah. Rovaniemi. In Lapland, like uh, two hours is like 15 minutes in normal distances. So two hours is just around the corner. Finland experience on the road. You can see it all here. No need for time lapse. On the left side, we have trees, and on the exciting right side, we have trees. 
Uh, sorry about the mistake earlier. We have also reindeers, of course. And on south there is moose. Here is reindeer. They are a bit like moose, but smaller and even lazier. Hey, hey, check who is here. It's uh, Pepsi, the cat. Pepsi the cat and <laughs> only the ex-wife. <laughs> only the ex-wife. <laughs> I was just thinking like only the human being, but no, it's only the ex-wife. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, Anni is a habitant of Lapland. Yes. Yeah, Anni showed her workplace and all the, the best attractions on the, the town. Yes. Including like uh, the what is the säästötalo. säästötalo, the superstore. Yeah. What they don't sell, you don't need. I bought some things for the press. Press has the best souvenirs for the trip. <laughs> yeah, and then <coughs> we had a coffee on cafeteria and shop where Anni works. Yeah. And uh, now we are going to go to the gym after the magic gym. Yeah, magic gym. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be just magic how strong we are. <laughs> Anni, Anni has also returned with the power of two videos. Three. Three videos? Three videos. Have I even seen all of them? I think I have. Yeah. Yeah. Pepsi is cleaning the... Uh, war. Mikä toi on toi patteri tuolla ihan totisena? <laughs> Pepsi, mitä ihmettä? <laughs> Yeah, so if, if you haven't seen Anni's magnificent YouTube comeback, go, go, go check Anni's channel out. I think you have probably seen it. Yeah. Yeah, but we eat something and then we go to the two. Okay, we have been here together with Anni like two, three hours today. It got like, it, it got a little bit time to like settle in, but now we have again the good ideas. Anni, Anni said this is a joke and then I said like, yeah, let's do it. Do you know the like, people put like their wedding pictures in the newspapers? We are going to put divorce picture in the newspaper. Yeah, we will do it. We are going to recreate this, our old wedding photo. We are going to do it here again today and put that on the newspaper. the great picture. Hanna, Hanna the professional. <laughs> Last day of the trip and more reindeers. Check, there is a white one. Oh, it's a little one. Yeah, it was uh, really nice to visit Anni. Anni had a nice thing going on there. The village was really nice. Yes, it was. And the people were uh, seemed to be like really like uh, they had like community there. Mm -hmm. Seems like quite many people already knew Anni. We visited the gym, local gym, and uh, yeah, taking the uh, divorce photo was the funniest thing ever. And then we had also really uh, fun times on the evening. Also, it was great to visit Anni. It's uh, quite a long trip, but I think it's worth it. And it has been quite a long trip in general. And we decided that we have been enough in hotel. We are going to uh, go to the Oulu. We were meant to stay there night, but we decided we are going to do all the things that we planned there, and then we are going to just drive home. Just, just driving. It's like five hours. I, I have like uh, I have been enough in hotel already on this trip, so let's go home. Yeah, own bed. <laughs>